On behalf of the Asian Pacific Islander Legislative Caucus, I rise in strong support of ACR 139. Dr. King has inspired people of different generations and communities of different backgrounds to organize and move toward a better world. And certainly, Dr. King's ties to the API community run deep. Uh, Dr. King links uh, to India's independence movement are well documented uh, from the early days of the Montgomery bus boycott, King referred to India's Mahatma Gandhi as the guiding light of the technique of nonviolent social change. A few years later, in 1959, Dr. King and his wife, Coretta Scott King, traveled to India for a five-week visit for the specific purpose of Dr. King learning more about nonviolent, non-cooperation, and civil disobedience. Upon arrival, he's, he's, known to, he's quoted to say, to other countries I may go as a tourist, but to India I come as a pilgrim. In ending his trip, uh, Doc, Dr. King uh, said, since being in India, I am more convinced than ever before that the method of nonviolent resistance is the most potent weapon available to oppress people in their struggle for justice and human dignity. We have leaders like Dr. King, Dr. King to thank for as he was among those who ignited a fire that inspired civil rights activists such as Yuri Kochiyama in her fight for truth and social justice, as well as Grace Lee Boggs, who famously helped organize Dr. King's Walk to Freedom in 1963 in Detroit, a speech that spoke of unity, respect, and hope. In 1965, the Japanese American Citizens League member and former internee Todd Endo joined Dr. King in his march in Selma in, supporting, in the support of voting rights. 50 years later, in 2015, JACL members were inspired to visit Selma once again in commemoration of Dr. King's contributions to civil rights. And of course, many of us, my family included, came to this country subsequent to the Immigration and Naturalization Act of 1965, which was a critical piece of the civil rights movement to allow uh, folks from all over the world to come to this country to seek the American dream. And in Dr. King's finals, final weeks in pushing the Poor People's Campaign and the Economic Bill of Rights, uh, of which uh, the Memphis sanitation strike he indicated was a critical component of, uh, we know that his struggle for justice and equality went beyond racial equality, but it was a fight for economic justice for all people. And the Poor People's Campaign was a multiracial, multi-ethnic uh, opportunity to bring together struggling people from around the nation to fight for economic justice. And I implore all of us to remember that as we seek to do the people's business, that beyond just celebrating Dr. King for what he was, remember who he still is, and that his message still resonates to this day for those that are struggling throughout our state and our nation. In these times where hope is so essential to progress, we are truly grateful beyond measure to Dr. King for his lifetime commitment and dedication to justice and equality. Please join me in voting aye for this important measure in honor of Dr. King's life and work. Thank you.